Our next competitor represents Takea, 18-year-old Yagmer Darren Kavink. First Junior Grand Prix event. So it does not have a personal best score in the free program. We'll earn that right now. We'll need a 53.22 to take the lead. She'll skate to stand up. Bringing hairography into the change of accommodation spin at the end Bridget of the program. Hairography? Hairography, oh. utilizing <laughs> that ponytail within the combo spin. I wonder how that will affect the grade of execution. Well, that's a new term. you have got to put that <laughs> in the ISU rule book. Yeah, you know, it didn't have success on the double axles, but the triple sock, although it'll be downgraded, I'm sure, but had good mechanics to it, mm. a good start to the program. Pretty solid, the double double jumps throughout the program. That was good. Well, let's take a look at some of the elements. Here's the triple soccer. We'll see. Watch the landing. This is going to be forward. There it is. And there are six elements under review. So that, I'm sure, will be downgraded or certainly under-rotated. There's a double lutz. Gets a free leg back. Double toe loop. Nice. Well done. A little twizzle. Mm, this is gorgeous. The, yeah, I kept the spin in here because just a really nice position and centered. The first half was centered really nice. A little bit of traveling in the second side, but... 
This is in at a flying change combination mid level four with a plus GOE. So some good points off that one element. There's a double Lutz, double total up a little bit later in the program. Want to carry more speed, of course, on the landing of the second jump. Does so here in the double flip. Oiler squeaks it up, double sow cow. Good work and patience. Uh, Yagmar turns 19 on Sunday and choosing that stand-up piece of music, bringing a brilliant tune. And he senses a skater that feels the music, wants the connection with that. And so important with the skaters that are going to be listening to the same piece of music repeatedly for months on end. And she may shrug her shoulders now, but hopefully she's had a great time prepping for this event as well. And this will be Yagmar's last season on the junior circuit. And she'll be looking to tighten up the rotational position for the triple salcos and the double axles to amass a technical content that she can use as a senior as well. And we talked about it a number of times, the momentum that Turkeya skating mm. uh, is growing with more enthusiasm. I'm sure there are people online right now watching. Yeah, we yeah, and, and great to build that community. So a shout out to all the Turkish skaters mm. that we've enjoyed on the circuit this year already, supporting Yagmar now. And a great thank you for hosting the Junior Grand Prix in Istanbul a few weeks back. You were there. Yeah, great event. And, and I think, actually, uh, Yagmar hails from the nation that had the biggest audience of any of the stops in the Junior Grand Prix so far. So that's the accolade. Even given more than Japan? Yeah, I think, or louder. Oh, louder. <laughs> louder. <laughs> well, not as many, but they were louder. Oh, they were, oh <laughs> gosh, they were louder. <laughs> that's true. Well, most are. So, yeah, that, that was true. That we had great enthusiasm in that building, that's for sure. And building that community and support skaters and mostly homegrown skaters. They're training there. And that was not always the case. In the very beginning of the Turkish Federation, a number of the skaters would train in Canada or somewhere yes. else. But it's great to see the arenas that are being built there. They will... A federation is built there, the coaching is built there. Skate, you know, like that is wonderful. They're becoming an independent skating development nation. So that is terrific. Congrat congratulations to all of those involved in that build. And that, that the, the reason that's so exciting is because then those skaters that hail from that nation, that train in that nation, will carry all the education that they're going to get, get from these experiences, like being here for Yagmur, that in Kavinch, she can, that, this information, education, and experience is priceless. She may choose to carry that back as a coach yeah. moving forward as well. Well, 11 elements in this program, nine were under review. They're all green now in regards to they have been completed in regards to the review. So that's a lot of elements, and that's why this is taking a little bit longer, the technical panel having to make sure that they maintain a precise application of the rules for each skater and sometimes the early on groups there's more to look at because the landings might be a little under rotated but it's hard to tell until you review it again same thing with some of the spins as well so that's just uh, an explanation as to why in the earlier groups sometimes there are longer uh, mm. reviews and that change for combination spin the last element coming at level four and that's maybe the the hierography. It wasn't a hierography. I'm, no. I'm, I'm just saying that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> there we go. 54 points. Yeah, it's not real. 54.77 for Yagmar. That is a second in the free program with a total competition score of 84.44. And she'll take over the lead.